Will this satisfy the cravings of going to the actual theme park? Hey guys. Okay, I'm, I'm just over the moon right now because I am finally gonna be satisfying a craving that I've had for quite a long time now. And I'm not talking about food this time. What I am talking about is finally getting back to doing a Disney puzzle. So the puzzle that will be satisfying my Disney cravings today will be one that is actually Disney branded and it is called Play in the Park and it is of Walt Disney World. It is 1000 pieces and it is 24 by 24 inches when it's completed. Now this was the puzzle that I brought up during my what's next to do list video and out of all the other ones that I showed you in that video, this was the one I was like super really looking forward to. Because what could be more fun than a Walt Disney World vacation? At least that's how I feel. Disney is definitely my happy place. I don't know about you guys, but if you love Disney, hit the like button. And if you have any of the Disney branded puzzles, make sure you let me know down below which sets you have. Now I picked up this particular set during my Walt Disney World visit in 2021. And the sets that you do find anywhere within the resorts, they're, they come with a pretty big price tag, at, at least to me. That, to me, this is expensive. It, it was $24.99. But you know, I, I just, you can't help yourself when you're in Disney World. You have to treat yourself, especially to one of these fantastic puzzles that they carry. But anyways, back to this one. I absolutely love this image. This is basically all of the four theme parks in one puzzle. You have Magic Kingdom, you have Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and within the areas of those park icons, you basically have little images or certain things depicting different rides within that theme park, which is totally fun. I mean, every single ride that I see depicted here is one that I, I love. I, I love all the rides. And not only that, you have Mickey and Friends, you even have Tinkerbell. You got a lot of stuff going on here. And, this is like one of the best ways that I can really take in a Disney World experience or theme park feel at home. And you know, it's way cheaper than, you know, making a trip to the theme parks. Will this satisfy the cravings of going to the actual theme park? Um, absolutely not. But I will tell you that it will bring back lots of good memories. Now, again, we have a lot going on in this image. And to be honest, I don't really feel like this is gonna be absolutely like the most challenging thing I've ever done. I kind of feel like sorting is not going to be a huge issue with this puzzle. What I am concerned about in this image is all the blue and the black. I feel like those two areas are going to be the most challenging. Everything else honestly I'm not worried about. But who knows, this whole thing might take me forever and a day and it might make me completely lose my taste in Disney. I don't know, but I, I highly doubt that. But I'm pretty sure either way, I am going to absolutely enjoy this puzzle. Now, it's been a long time since I did a Disney branded puzzle. I think my last one was actually the Haunted Mansion puzzle. But anyways, I kind of remember quality wise, I believe they were pretty thin pieces. So I'm really looking forward to kind of getting a sense of what these pieces are like again. The size itself is not that small. There is an actual, there is a sample size image here on the back of the box to kind of give you an idea of what you're dealing with. So considering that size and you know, there's quite a bit of things happening throughout this image. I kind of feel like it's, it's not going to be absolutely terrible or challenging in that sense. But again, we'll see, right? I, I, I don't know. But you know what? I don't really want to say anything more right now because I seriously want to tear this box. No, I don't want to tear the box apart. It's a nice box. I want to, you know, take the tape off very nicely so that I can save the box, keep it in good condition so that we can finally get inside and start this puzzle. So let's get started. All right, let's finally get this one opened up because I can't wait to start this one. So this doesn't have any plastic wrap on it, but it does have two, well, no, four pieces of tape all around the box. So let's cut this open very carefully though. All right, so we have 
have our pieces in a nice plastic bag. And yes, in case you didn't know, Disney may charge you $24.99 for their puzzles, but they will not provide you with a, a poster. Of course they wouldn't. Why would they? It's Disney. I still love them though. All right, let's check this out here. Let's open this up. So I'm, I'm starting to get a few memories back from when I opened up my Haunted Mansion puzzle for the first time. And it's basically the same. We got a fairly decent size puzzle piece. We have a very clear print here, as you can see. And as you also saw quite quick, we do have a bit of glare on these puzzles. That I do remember with the Haunted Mansion puzzle. And another thing about them as well is that their pieces are pretty thin. They don't necessarily feel flimsy considering how thin they are. They're actually pretty solid, to be honest. I have to say it actually feels more solid than the Sprigbok one that I just did. Again, you don't want to put all your beastly force onto the little tabs here because this area is quite thin on most of them. But overall, I do kind of like the feel of the Disney pieces. But again, the print is very clear. You can see the details very well. The colors are great. And another thing that I remember liking about Disney branded puzzles is that there's no puzzle dust to them. Like not even the bag has any dust in it whatsoever. So that's a plus for it. But overall, I'm super excited to get this one started. So you know what guys, I'm, I'm gonna stop with this now because it's about time that I finally get my Disney juices flowing. So you know what? Let's get started. Okay, so let's go through this sorting quick. I kind of had one of those instances where I started with the plan in my mind on how I was going to go about sorting this. And then all of a sudden, when I looked at the big pile in front of me, my mind just went blank. But honestly, I wasn't too surprised that happened to me. It tends to usually happen. But anyways, I ended up with the first tray having the edges, second tray for the characters, third tray had the trees and the bushes, fourth tray had the attractions and the park icons, fifth was for the fireworks, the sixth was for the path, seventh tray had all the dark blue and black areas, you know, the, the scary bits, and the eighth tray I left for just the random pieces that I couldn't quite figure out where to put. I started out a bit slow with this process, but the further I got into the pile, the faster I started to work. And I really started to get a feel of the challenge that was ahead of me. As I had said, we got quite a bit going on in this image. So my initial plan of attack was to get the edges done, but I quickly realized that really wasn't going to work with this because most of them were the exact same dark blue color. It would take me forever to complete. So I scrapped that idea and put together any edge pieces that had any letters or particular details, like the edges of the fireworks, for example. And you can see me go through this whole process and everything else that I'm about to tell you through the time lapse. My next step was putting together anything with lettering. So there's the Walt Disney World banner towards the bottom and the other posters within the image. Then I started piecing together any small characters. Those pieces were pretty easy. Next, I started working on a bit of the Fab Five. And once I decided to start working on the tray with the park icons and all the right images, I kind of resorted through it to make it a bit easier to pick out and put together those areas. Then it was on to putting together the path, the rest of the gaps, and finish up with the remainder of the edge pieces. Okay, so here's my biggest complaint about this set. It's very crumbly. It, it just doesn't hold well together. And I think that's actually because the pieces are so thin. But I had numerous instances where I would try to move a little section or even just three pieces that were already put together and it would just fall apart. Like, like there was no hole to it. 
And it's interesting because it's cut very well. It's, it's a clean cut and they pop into place so nice and smoothly. But who knows, maybe that's actually why it has close to no grip on itself. It, it just felt so frail. And I'm sure the non-slip surface on my puzzle table didn't really help matters, but I even tried using my puzzle scoop and even that was an issue. I would very carefully try to slide the scoop under the sections and instead of the pieces sliding onto it neatly, it would just get destroyed. There was, there was no hope. Instead of trying to move whole sections, I just ended up piecing it together one by one again into the area that it needed to be. Have any of you had this issue with Disney branded puzzles? I'm really curious to know what your overall experiences have been with this particular brand. Another note, glare was an issue with this as well. I had to reposition my table to the other side of my room just to make the ball of light shining on it disappear. Which if you are having an issue with glare, I noticed that if your puzzle is directly under a light source or it's very close around it, it's, it's really not gonna help if your particular set has a glossy finish to it. And so far I've noticed with both my Disney branded sets that they have quite a glossy finish to them. So I guess that's the Disney thing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this set did not include a poster. And I don't believe any of the collections from the Disney branded puzzles come with the poster. But correct me if I'm wrong about that and let me know which collection does come with one because the only reference image you have is what's on the front of the box. And it's it gives you the full image. It's not cut off or anything, which, you know, is good at least. Now, thankfully, the details in this image were very straightforward, but I can see this being a problem if you're working on a more complex image with very fine details. You, you just might not see much just using the small image on the box, which could make your overall experience more challenging than it should be, and maybe even frustrating. But again, this is just more of a note to you regarding Disney branded puzzles in general. This image worked out very well without a poster, and quite honestly, was probably one of the most fun I had putting together. Although it was quite frustrating that this puzzle loved to come apart at the slightest wrong touch, I seriously did not want to stop working on it. I almost couldn't stop really. And maybe it was because I had just finished the model building sets and I was just desperate to get back into regular puzzling. Who knows? Even though they are really thin, I really liked the way they felt between my fingers. I don't know why really, I can't explain it. They're, they're just so smooth and light. It's so clean cut and the pieces just fall into place together so nicely and fall apart at the same time. But you know, we've moved on from that now. Anyways, the piece size to me is just right. The print is excellent. The colors are vibrant, they're clear and not a single piece was damaged in my box. And that's really only ever occurred with my plastic Pintu puzzles. So that was a big plus to me. And you get a great variety of shapes. And I really only noticed how many different shapes I was working with towards the end when I got to what I thought was going to be the most challenging part of the puzzle, which was the solid dark blue and black areas. But when I got to that point, I, I really needed to change my game plan because there were so many pieces in that tray. So what I did was I resorted that pile by piece shape. And let me tell you, I couldn't believe how quickly I flew through the final completion of this image. So if you ever leave yourself with these kinds of pieces towards the end of your puzzle completion, try resorting by shape. Most of the puzzle will have already been completed. And for the most part, you will know exactly what you need because sometimes the empty space or the missing shape is staring right at you. Really, it helps you narrow it down. 
And before I knew it, I was done. This puzzle took me about seven hours to complete and I savored every moment of it. This totally gave me my Disney jollies. And after my battle with model building, it seriously got my puzzle juices flowing through my veins. It felt amazing. And yes, it had a few issues that annoyed me at times, but this image was too much fun to put together. I love it so much that I know I will do this one again, and it will forever sit on my shelf to catch dust with the rest of my Disney collection. Now I still have very mixed feelings about the price because the fit does kind of suck, and I just wish it held together better. And you don't even get a poster. I mean, I don't know, what's your opinion? Do you think it's worth it? Because let's remember, it's Disney, and we know that not everything that you buy that's Disney branded means that you're getting top notch quality. And I can for sure tell that quality has kind of gone downhill over the years with some of their merchandise. But I know I can't help myself when I'm at a Disney resort or theme park. And if I see one of these babies set on a shelf, I'm gonna be like, man, I don't have that one. I must have that one, even though I know you're gonna fall apart. I'll pay the darn price. Because you know what I think it is for me? I can't resist a Disney image that brings up so many fun memories that I've created with my own family on top of memories of my own childhood family vacations to this place. That sense of nostalgia, that sense of feeling like a kid again, that sense of just really being at my happy place, even though it's so darn expensive, but anyways. If you want to hear what I have to say about other types of puzzles and brands, be sure to subscribe and you can follow along with me on my journey to completing as many puzzles as I possibly can. Well guys, thank you for watching. I hope all is well and I will see you in the next one.